Thank God. You wouldn't believe the week that I've had. Oh no, 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 no. Let me tell you why I have been gone for a little bit here. I guess for a week. It feels a lot longer than that. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> so, it starts with, uh, I guess, Wednesday of last week, so literally a week ago. When <clears throat> um, somebody else in the house tested positive for COVID. Um, I was out of the house at the time hanging out with my friend who was in town uh, for Thanksgiving and we went around and did stuff or whatever and uh, then I was told of said news and the first day they were having issues uh, they refused to get a COVID test because they were like kept saying that it wasn't and then yeah so um then i came home and i had to figure out what the deal was because they were not quarantining they were just walking around the house you know just doing whatever you know um <clears throat> so Pretty much, uh, I tried to quarantine myself, as in I tried to keep myself away from it because I hadn't shown symptoms yet. And then I took like some tests for it, and so far so good. Nothing was coming up. I I tested negative. And then, um, the next day, nothing, uh, and then moving on. So I had to cancel going to Thanksgiving because I was potentially, you know, affected. So I didn't get to celebrate Thanksgiving. And, um, so I just kind of stayed home and just did nothing. And then I went to work the next day uh, because I wasn't showing symptoms. So they're like, okay, you can come to work. So I go to work, do like an entire eight and a half hour shift, come home. Oh, by the way, during that eight and a half hour shift, stuck there till 11 because it took the manager forever. Something happened. And then... Saturday, I immediately realized I started feeling off. So for Thursday, so for the entire, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days, no symptoms. Saturday, started the start of feeling symptoms. And then I tried to take a test, a little at home thing. First time it was invalid. Second time, try to take another one, said it was negative. Um, I went to... I went to, uh... Okay. I went to, um... I, I was talking to the manager, I'm like, I'm starting to feel symptoms. she doing Ugh. um I'm starting to feel symptoms and then I was like hey this is coming up as negative but I'm starting to feel symptoms I don't think it's I should be coming in the work and then they're like wow we really do need you <laughs> we really need you to come to work so uh, it would be best if you came in today and then I depressingly said okay 
And then with my rapidly worse condition of aching body. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> um, my rapidly um, increasing aching of my body. Um, <clears throat> I went to work. I walked. It was pretty cold out. Um, I think I was kind of starting to get chills as well. And then when I went to work, it was pretty warm in there, but my entire body was just, ugh, it, it legitimately hurt. Like, I was getting tired, I was weak, and then just my entire body was aching, just pain. And I had, like, specifically lower back pain, like, right in my lower spot, like, right above my, where my spine is, right above where my hip is. There was, like, that, my spine right there. That's where there was a major amount of pain or aching. And then the rest of it was just uh, obnoxious kind of amounts of aching. Um, and then it just got worse because I was being forced to work. And um, the manager that was closing that night, bless their heart, tried to do every accommodation, accommodation as they could for me. And then... Um, uh, they gave me like a chair to sit in and it was just like I was working and then I was just like this is This is too much for me to handle like having to do all this like I'm just in so much pain and I'm aching and I, I feel like I'm stuck here till close and I'm gonna have to walk home like this It was just too much for me. So they sent me home and then um, The next morning I called in I'm just like I'm calling in sick so I stayed, uh, so I called in sick, and, uh, then I went, I had a, um, an appointment, or, um, what do you call them, so, a test, uh, what's the word, um, scheduled, like a COVID test scheduled, so, that day, after I called in and told them I'm sick, I'm gonna go take a rapid two-hour test, so, because I've already spent like $10 on this stupid, like, piece of shit at home test. Um, and then went there, did the test, and then, uh, didn't hear anything back. Had Monday off. Um, finally heard something back. They called. It was like... They said, like, their machine or something wasn't working. So, like, the email, the emails weren't being sent out. So, we had to go get it printed. So we went home, or went over, picked it up, and then called my work, told them uh, that I tested positive. Finally, on my last day off or whatever, um, and then I told them, hey, uh, and then they're like, my manager was getting angry, and I was just like, they were getting pretty mad at this point because they needed me at work during this time, and I'm just like, dude, I, I'm sorry, but I have fucking COVID, I'm sick as fuck, and it, it it's like... I'm not gonna work under these conditions, and I don't think anybody should work when they're sick, because it just makes it worse, uh, usually. So, <clears throat> um, so, um, also during these, these, like, days or whatever, the Sunday and Monday, and I guess yesterday, just, uh, fatigue like I'm just tired and I'll have I'll be sitting in the chair and I'll be like all oh. I'll have like for like the first couple days it would go through in kind of like waves so like a different part would be the new pain and um, I would just get tired all day 
I, I didn't end up taking naps. I would like lay down and close my eyes for a little bit. And then eventually, yeah. And then it's been hard to get up out of bed as well. Cause I'm just like, you know, like I'm laying down. I'm just like, I just can't get up. Today was probably the first day I was able to just actually properly get up without major issues, you know, like having issues getting up or whatever. Um, because I, it's like, it's really hard to get up. It was, it was really hard, and I constantly wanted to lay down, because I was just having that ache, aching pain. So, like, laying down helped me stretch my legs, and, like, sitting doesn't help. Like, sitting in a chair isn't really helpful, and standing isn't good. So just laying down was the best thing for my body. So I would do that on occasion. But anyways, I called, and then I talked to the COVID response team. They're like, yeah, okay. For some reason, they said the 23rd was the last time I came in. I don't know where the fuck they got that from. I have a feeling that's what the dude told, like my manager told them, which is not correct. I was in there 26. That was the last time I was there, and I actually showed symptoms at that time. <clears throat> but they didn't care because I didn't show, have proof that I had it. So they're like, okay, fuck you. You don't have proof. You're working. Asshole, fuck you. We don't care. Um, because uh, companies are ruthless assholes. Um, and then, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Um, so, I sent them my test, and then we got the rest of these days off, pretty much, and then I had to call them today and tell them because they didn't even bother to go out of their way. They, they went out of their way to take off two days, but they didn't bother to go out of their way to take off the other day that is supposed to be taken off because tomorrow is supposed to be my last day of quarantine. Only five days. It's actually going to be six days for me, because I had Friday off. They tried to get me to work on Friday, too, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> nope. I'm good. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've just been trying, taking it easy, and, um, I'm, I'm only just now starting to feel better I hope it's like every morning kind of feels like I'm getting better and better now because today I definitely felt better um hey Leo what's up I'm just talking about my COVID uh situation um and talking about my story about it cause it's my first time having it <clears throat> and I'm, I'm an unvaccinated bird, so, um, it sucked. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have a loss of taste and smell yet. I don't know. Apparently COVID, am I? Am I a little too quiet? Is this better? I don't yes okay well then I'll just do this so yeah so I've just been taking it easy um and uh yeah no today I'm hoping that I haven't taken any pain medication uh at all today like I, I've been I basically just completely went cold turkey with uh, ibuprofen um, because I want to make sure that I can uh, be fine without it and I haven't felt anything I haven't felt chills and um, the fact that I'm getting sweaty under blankets and stuff is a good sign because that means that I'm not really getting chills anymore I can actually properly just not have to wear about like 
an entire article of clothing, socks, and an entire thick blanket on top of myself. Um, so that's good. Uh, I guess tomorrow I need to clean my sheets, maybe. And basically everything, I guess. I don't know. Uh... And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, scratchy throat's still there, eh, sometimes, um, it burns, usually it, it, whenever I'm waking up, I think, like, I just get dry throat, anyways, so, um, this just makes it worse, <laughs> so it's, it's even harder to try to sleep whenever you have a massive dry mouth and every time you swallow it just hurts so like right now it's kind of going back to normal right now but again you know <sighs> yeah just that's just kind of like what I've been dealing with for the past couple days and then also the internet's been going on and off lately uh, we're switching to uh, fiber internet I don't know if we already have it uh, I'm not sure I, I don't know if we have fiber internet right now or if that still needs to be um, made uh I'm not, I'm not, yeah, so, anyways, um, that's, that's pretty much it, I've just been, I've just been too tired to want to stream or do anything, and too, uh, sick to want to do anything, so that's why I haven't done anything in the past days that I've been off work, because I'm sick, so, alright, Today, we're playing, um, Sims 3. Okay. I know it's been 20 minutes, but, um, today we're playing Sims 3. I went out of my way to get every expansion in the game. Um, every stuff pack in the game, except for the Katy Perry stuff. There's two, there's like two Katy Perry things. Actually, no, I have one of the Katy Perry items, which I didn't even realize it was a Katy Perry thing. But the other one, the stuff, the Katy Perry stuff pack thing, that one I don't have because it's worth way too much money and you don't get anything interesting, I guess. Hope you get better soon, I, I, I hope, yeah. I, I just, I'm just afraid like, there's just so much stuff here that probably needs to be wiped down. I just don't know when is a good time or best time to do it. I guess, uh, whenever now. Because I think I still have it. It's just, it's not going to be like, I don't know. I think I can still spread it or I still have the, the germs that can spread it regardless. So it's like... How long do I have to wait to really start wiping things down entirely? I just need to be careful not to, like, touch my face after I'm done being sick. And wash stuff that I have on, like my, um, robe. Anyways, yeah, so Sims, um, three. Uh, yeah, so I have all the, the expansions, all the, uh, the, um, stuff pack. Um, funny story I have about the Sims series is I've always grown up with it, except I've usually not been the one playing it. It's my sister playing it, and she never let me see see her games, ever. She, for some reason, would immediately get very angry if I ever dared to look at her screen when she was playing The Sims. I don't know why. I don't know what purposes of why she wouldn't let me see her Sims gameplay whatsoever she just never let me look <laughs> i'd walk into the living room and she's playing it and i'd look over and she'd be like G go away and she'd like start like shoving me away 
So there's something going on with The Sims 3 that she's not telling me. Uh, that she doesn't want me to see. Um, and um, The Sims... The game, the Sims game that I played the most was Sims 1, and I owned the majority of the expansions in box sets that I found at Goodwills when they were more easily, f like, you could eas more easily find them. Uh, I don't know if I still have them. Um, I don't think I do. I think I had the boxes of them, and I think they're just basically got given away to goodwill at one point behind my back when I wasn't when I didn't notice and I just never paid attention I still have a couple I have the big box uh, of it still like I have it sitting in my room um, it's like the big box one you can open it up and there's like some cool little stuff going on um, and then I have I think the deluxe version of the sims one I think I have some other stuff too I have been making wired shipping and trying to live vicariously through the game. A oh, weird shipping. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wouldn't have even gotten any of it. I just wanted to see the game. Um, I think I have played a very minor amount of Sims 2. I think she always played. She never played Sims 1. Um, she started from Sims 2 onward, and then Sims 3 was her game for a long time. And Sims 3 is the one that I recognize the most um, in terms of its UI and, um, like, style. I did play, but I've never played it. I've never played The Sims 3. I've seen it, and maybe just, like, I've maybe played it once or twice, maybe. But that's really digging deep, if I really did. And then Sims 2, no. I've seen it a lot, though. Like, I, I, I still have fond memories of that one as well from my sister playing it. Um, but no, I've I've uh, I've only... I've actually... There is another Sims game I played. There was The Sims, I think, 2 on the PlayStation 2. Where you can control your character and you move them around. Kind of like um, in a third-person mode. And you basically can live in the house and you just do everything in the game like you normally would. But you're, you're in a third person mode and everything's interactable. So you're way more immersed in your household. Um, but it's based on Sims 2, the one that I was playing. Um, and that one kind of felt definitely more gamey uh, in that aspect. You could play it like I think the normal games, but that was one of the game modes you could do, I think. Or something like that. It was cool and unique being able to do something like that in the game. Um, one of the weird things was... Uh, I think there was like this... For some reason, like... Death would show up and just straight up kill you. I don't I don't know why that was happening. I don't remember the, the cause for it. But I'd just be existing. Doing stuff. And then suddenly, um, death comes and kills you. Or you just die straight up or something. I don't know. It was weird. But, uh, yep. Uh, and then Sims 4 we've, we've done on stream. But it was only modded. Like, just with a bunch of stupid kill mods. Uh, in this one, I did, in fact, install some mods. I have installed mods onto Sims 3. So we do have mods. Uh, I forgot what they were, though. <laughs> I think they are story progression. A lot of N-R-A-A-S mods. Which is a, a... Just a group of, like, people who call themselves something industries that. Um, and, uh... They... I guess it's just a, uh, improvements on the story progression of the game and AI and how the things interact in the world while also giving you more creative control over everything. So pretty much I just have a bunch of better immersion-ish thing mod things. I don't know how to describe it. But it's just better implemented systems mods. And then just extra stuff that we can mess with 
in the game mods. And that's about it. Like, I didn't add anything crazy other than um, adding guns, um, shooting people, and uh, stabbing people. <laughs> And and killing killing um, Sims mods, I do have those uh, <laughs> for immersion reasons. Obviously, not like for like any other reasons. Um, I had I definitely didn't have an idea for what kind of character I wanted to make in the game that we would be following. Um, <laughs> and then um, I think there's a. Uh, bunch of like body slider mods I think by the same person I don't know how crazy they can get I only did a little bit of, of work to it and from what I've gotten was uh, if I pull it up here let me pull up what's this image that's that's not it that's not it that's not it I'll just pull up a new image. So I made I made this character uh, in the game. Uh, I guess there's a little bit of of the mod showing here, um, but you wouldn't expect. You wouldn't know which part of this is, is part of the vanilla game and which part of it is the mod. Um, it's the chin. You can just make the chins wider. <laughs> that's the that's the body slider. <laughs> that's it. Uh, no, I have other body sliders, but that one's the... It's just like, it's less obvious. I don't remember what else I added. It's been a couple days, but I did spend a lot of money um, getting all the expansions and stuff passed. I'm not joking. It's a lot of money. Um, it, it, it was uh, a, a large amount of money, and that was considering me buying all the keys from uh, G2A. Uh, so um, with that in mind, you can tell that um, uh, this, this stuff is expensive when you add it up. Even when you got them for like two dollars a piece. <laughs> uh, one of them didn't even like, like I ordered it. It was more than how much it was on Origins website or um, des like the app. But I was willing to pay for it at that point, and then it took six hours. And then after the six-hour mark, they were like, "Sorry." This, um, because that's how long it, they take before they are, they refund you. And then I bought it from the Origin website, which was, um, cheaper. Which I wasn't exactly happy to do. And then I got all the stuff packs, which were all cheap. And of course, ironically, the one that took forever, like six hours to refund me, um, uh, I was just waiting in hopes that it would give it to me instead of, of just being like, okay, because I wanted to just start downloading everything and throwing it together and stuff. Anyways, uh, I haven't exactly run the game, so I don't know if this will work. <laughs> I'm just kind of banking off of I didn't do anything crazy to the game, so there's no way that it, it should have any issues. In fact, I have a majority of my mods, or a lot of my mods, are supposed to make the game run f better than it does right now. It's supposed to. It will upset me greatly if it does um, worse, or is bad in any way. And for whatever reason, Sims likes to basically be um, a storage uh, dump and they like to dump a bunch of cash that is completely pointless. What is going on with my origin? Why are you taking... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to restart you. I'm just going to restart you. You're going to be a little bitch boy. Come on. Come on.
There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. I have to put in my password. Okay. All right, Sims 3. Here we go. And it's also telling me to download Battlefield 4. Man. Man. Also, another thing is we'll have... We're going to have um, all of the expansions installed as well. So all the expansions are going to be um, activated and ready to go. And by the way, uh, doing Sims mods, like downloading them and getting them together, is still still feels like some of the most sketchy like stuff, like shit. Like, you know... I, I'm not joking when I feel spoiled for Nexus um, for Nexus mods um, for mod DB you know those kinds of websites and that those communities um, they feel so much less like a virus constantly than um, the Sims do on a daily basis with the mod community and the weird part about it is that the Sims like community is more active is way more active than those communities. Like, hands down. Look. Look at the Sims. Look at them. And by the way, I'm gonna be proper. I'm gonna put full effort into making the house, because I like... I, if you know me from um, Roblox, and uh, uh, welcome to Bloxburg, or whatever it's called. The building one. The house building sim on roblox uh i love building houses so and just putting so, a huge amount of attention to detail to them so uh if this game allows me to do that then i will do it this is the third in the series so it better be good is it like getting pokemon roms Pokemon is such a massive series that that would probably still feel safer than Sims. But no, Sims 3, literally, um, the patcher, the, this, like, patcher mod that's supposed to make this game run smooth, um, was updated literally, uh, the day that I, I installed it. And this is for Sims 3. Sims 4 had just recently had their own expansion. Adding, like, a high school system to the game. There, the one thing that Sims community is missing is major, like, huge mods that add things kind of like expansion packs. I know there's some out there that may exist, but... Yeah. Also, this is the default menu that you get for, because this was the last expansion. So it's gonna show this one. Which kind of sucks, because I, I want to see the other ones. Every expansion, whenever it loads the game, it has a different one. There you go. There's all. There's a, a fraction of my mods. I don't. I. I don't even think there's a way to see them. Anyways, um, yeah. I don't know if this is gonna run. Uh, one of the things I'd like to point out real quick is um, I don't know how this is gonna run. Stream. Uh, I think the music is loud. Is the music too loud? I might turn it down some more. Here we go. I'm probably going to also turn these down as well. I'm, I have to be particular about it even though I don't need to. Okay. Kind of do it like that. Okay. Because the thing is, is like, I, I listen at like maybe 50 volume max on my headphones. So like my audio is completely different from you guys. So I don't know if it's good or bad and it's hard for me to know. Uh, continue without login. Fuck you. Okay, well now it's just quiet. Yes, music is was a little too much. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, look, it's fairies. I'm going to make sure to turn on autonomous killing. No. <laughs> uh, look at them. They're kissing over there. Not using their wings, by the way. Um, that... That's the one thing that they, they try to get past is like, Oh, look, we have wings, but they can clip through the, the couch. <laughs> yeah, what they don't realize is that the, these wings are probably just as uh, fragile as butterfly wings. Which means that if it gets like as much as being touched by something, it completely destroys it and disintegrates it. Find the kissing fairies. <laughs> it's right there. Find the twigs and sticks easy chair. What the fuck? Oh shit, wait. I forgot to change the island. Oops. <laughs> We're actually gonna have to leave. We're not doing this island. I, I forgot. I wanted to do like maybe one of the starter ones. Because again, I've never played it. So it'd probably be better to start on like a starter island thing. No, stop. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go to the main menu again. No, don't save. We waited all that time because I forgot to do this. Bridgeport's cool because it's like nightlife. Um, we have Appaloosa Plains, Adventureland, and Sunset Valley. They both sound like the same thing. But this has a goth family in it. So. <clears throat> this is the Sims 3 store. Find Jacob's staircase. Find the fan leaf palm tree. <laughs> what are these? Are these supposed to be tips? Find the Buccaneer Bridge. <laughs> it's like you're being given like shitty WoW quests every like one minute. Find the Mother Brassbeard's Birdbath. Kill two boars! Let's play The Sims 3. Welcome to The Sims 3. Use the buttons below to get started. Here's the uh, town. This is Adventure uh, Land or whatever. Damn. And it's actually genuinely a massive map. Look at this. Can't do this. And there's the there's an airport. Can't do this in uh, Sims 4. I could probably walk over here and see like a, a fairy and they're going to give me either like a heart container um, money or, uh, stamina or whatever. Right, let's see. That's, uh, is that a graveyard? No, that's just really rich people's house. Okay. Well, this is, this is fun. This is cute. This, this is cute. What is that house? Okay. Create a household. Oh boy, what the, the hell? Alright, visit the Sims 3 shop later. Create a sim. Would you like a brief lesson on creating sims? Sure. Okay, thanks. Alright, so I guess we need to make a character. I guess we could randomize the character. Oh, that's the name. Dan Peterson. I wanted to randomize the character itself. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> he looks like the kid in, like, middle school that would just straight up, like... <laughs> He'd be, like, the guy who runs, like, like a gang in, like, his school. <laughs> He's the villain in the teen drama movie. That's just a tall guy. I kind of like this guy. <laughs> uh, 
that's all right. These are all so good. All right, just give me like a normal person to work with. They're kind of normal except for their shaky feet. I don't know how to feel about the shaky feet. I guess they all have shaky feet. The snitch. <laughs> Alright, so we can make our character completely pale. I don't know what I want to make, though. We can make them, um... Teal. Or blue. We can make them orange. Orange man. I guess we'll stick to white, white man. We could also be any of these. And we're gonna be a young adult. Wesley Whitman. We're gonna be male. We can adjust the. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! All right, we're gonna make a twink. We're gonna make a fin boy. <clears throat> um, make them orange. No. No. I don't think I will. Alright. What's a good fin boy here? Uh, ew. Oh, I know. Where's where's the one where they have like half their hair cut off and then it's swayed to the side? Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> it's Anthony from Smosh. Yo, it's Ian from Smosh. That was too big for a fin boy. Hold on, we got we gotta work with what we have here first. Hold on. Alright, so we have the hair. Uh that's pretty good. That's a good one. Um ah, this one this one's perfect. Okay. And then the hat, it needs to be like something related to fishing. <laughs> Dude, why is the music so loud? <laughs> Let's see. I kind of like this now. You know, I was gonna go for that, but now I kind of, I'm kind of liking this. I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We're just gonna make like an OG character, I guess. No, like references to like, oh. Let's just do like a, a sitcom kind of thing, you know? Let's do like a weird like sitcom where it's like the cool kid, the cool dude, versus like the... The... Yeah. Eyebrows, so I want to get them bushy. I kind of like those ones. They have nice, beautiful eyelashes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I gotta give them the, uh... The douchebag. Go. 
Castro. <laughs> there you go. It's like an an average college college bro. So so. So so. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, hold on. Yep so. Yep so. Hold on. Back. So. No, no, no back hair. Uh arm hair. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I feel like I need to give him a little go. bit more strength. I feel a little bit bad. There we go. Just a little bit. Because <laughs> it's like... <laughs> that's a little bit better. <laughs> okay. And you can do other, like, advanced stuff over here. Like, if you click this, you can do, like, some tips to it if you really wanted to. I'm not gonna do that. But that is something that you could do. As for the face, uh, this is where we can go into advanced settings and really mess around with it. But if you go into, um, sim height, you can make him a tiny little guy. Or you can make him really tall. Make him tiny. I'm gonna make him like a, a simlet. There we go. I'm gonna make him a... Uh... Gonna give him a... Uh... Let's see here. So kind of like that. Chin, chin scale. Gonna make him cartoonishly. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Chad. Alright. Everything else is fine. Um, I think moving on to the nose first. Because I feel like the nose needs to be fixed. Bridge height. We need to just straight up, like, make it not as bad. So, like, there is fine. Bridge rotate, that's fine. With that's fine. Um, I'd say a little bit thinner. Yeah, it's like a '90s hippie. Perfect. It's kind of like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we gotta get to the part of the nose, the main part, main attraction here. We gotta shrink it up a little bit. Bring it out. There we go. There we go. And then, uh... There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, alright. We gotta give him some puckered lips. Fuck.
Okay, sorry. I'm just. Uh, I I, I don't I don't know. I'm just I'm just I, I can't. Um. <clears throat> Uh, maybe I should stop staring at this guy. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't want any of these tattoos. Lord Dunsa. It's perfect to me. Hold on, I gotta. It's shoulder. Fuck. Um. Why is it not on their upper? I guess it would be this one, wouldn't it? Alright, well, hold on. How do I just straight up remove that? There we go. I wanted to put... Where is it? This there. Yeah, perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Make it a little bit big. have it kind of faded a little bit because he's been wearing it for so long got it got it when he was uh when he was a little bit younger he got it because of a girl of his uh, ex-girlfriend fuck i guess some other tattoos on his arm Like a what? Fuck no, go back. I didn't. No. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Oh my god. Okay. There. There. Oh, you can't click those. I oh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So why is the drama alert theme in the in the song? Hear that? Oh, no, you can't, but I kind of want to do like on his arm, do like one of these designs and then just have it like go all over. that and then do the same thing for the other arms or other parts of the arm so like there 
and then for I think I kind of see what they were going for this and then doing this I like that Oh, I kind of see what they're they're meaning for that, but yeah, yeah. I need to do the elbow. Can I do the elbow? Is that a part of the body that I can do? Forearm, wrist, bicep. Five front. Did I already do this one? Yes. Okay. That's all. I want to do more. What's the full body tattoos like? Body doesn't mean anything. Okay, whatever. Alright. I guess this is the best we're gonna do. Because <laughs> I don't know how else to do the other parts. I would have liked to do the whole arm. You know what I'm talking about? But can't do it. So. Um. I guess there's only one tattoo I'll get left. And that's gonna be on the back. And it's gonna be on the top. Um, on the top back of the neck and it's gonna be right actually upper back sorry and it's gonna be um, where is it one of these okay that is not where I wanted it to be never mind it's this one it's gonna be right there okay can't move it great uh, I would have preferred it to be down. There's no way of me moving it, so I guess that's where it's going to be. It's going to be the most recent one. There you go. Can't really see it, but it's there. I mean, there is one I probably could put on the back. Let's see. A wolf. I just wish there was more options. Back of shoulder. That would be too bad. Probably put like a. No onions. No. Um. Furry fin boy. <laughs> the money sign. That's not the back of the. That did not do the thing that I wanted it to do. Okay. Alright, well that's that. Maybe yo. Maybe yo. Oh yeah, and this one I don't think it can change their voice. So this is their everyday wear. Okay. So. You know what to expect. I know what to expect. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No. <laughs> no. 
no. Where the fuck is my goddamn 80s, 90s? Okay, maybe I, I don't have it, even though I do. Motherfuckers. Oh, there it is. Wow. You know, I, I probably should have expected it at this point, shouldn't I? That they wouldn't have, um, anything. Um, wow. They really did not put that much love or care into this. As you'd think. That's, that's a little depressing to think about. What is this? Everything. Oops, okay. Alright, so I guess we'll make our own. Yo, that actually doesn't look that bad with those tattoos. That doesn't look too bad. This would be their everyday shirt, though. Remember that. He does seem kind of like the person that would wear a vest, wouldn't he? Let's see. I wish... Is there no way to change the voice in this one? Because if not, then that'll suck. Uh... That wouldn't be an everyday wear. Oh, yeah. Varsity jacket. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh! Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Now that is perfect, I think. There's so many clothing options. It's just like, it's hard. It's hard to pick. But man, man. Okay, I think this will work. Most forgettable Sims games? Uh, no. It was not. The pants works too, surprisingly. Um, again, the concept of everybody basically wearing full, like, winter clothes during the summer in like movies and TV shows when it clearly wouldn't make sense for them to be wearing it. Here's the pants. Yeah. Alright. What about shoes? Oh. All right, well, I know who, what the next character we're making to live with this guy. <laughs> I know exactly what character we're making. <laughs> uh, gotta wear trainers. Hipsters like to wear trainers. Has to be black and white. All right, and then accessories, of course, uh, shades.
That's a digital watch? What? Nah. Nah. You're wearing that. <laughs> Gloves. We're gonna wear a ring. If you like it, then you wanna put a ring on it. If you like it, then you wanna put a ring on it. If you like it, then you wanna put a ring on it. Is that a nose piercing? What is this? Oh yeah, we didn't see any of those, did we? Nose piercings. Mardunsa. So this is his formal wear. Uh, let's see. I'd say something like this. Oh. Oh. Formal wear. It's as hipster as you possibly can get. This sesh is in sesh. All right, give me those pants. Just do like these. It's not the same gray, which annoys me a little bit. That's okay. Okay, actually, I could just... I could do this. Is that even gray? What color is that? How do I just straight up, like, steal the color of this? What is this? There. <laughs> there. Also, I should probably fix some parts of this. The, um... <laughs> Let's see. So the shirt, I kind of want it to be like a yellowish kind of thing. You know, kind of, uh, kind of like, um, like greenish. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like reddish, you know? Kind of like red, and then I want I wanted this to be more um I wanted this to be more uh yeah um yeah perfect <laughs> he looks like twenty sixteen Markiplier. Hello everybody, it's me Markiplier. Today we're gonna be playing some Five Nights at Freddy's. That's his underwear? Alright, perfect. That that's his sleepwear. Sashko. Athletics is actually makes sense. Alright, I'm I'm taking this. This is good. Swimwear? Yep, that makes that makes complete sense too. Out outerwear. So. Eh. I have a better thing. I saw it earlier. It's either gonna be this, 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 or one of what's going on here? No. Ooh. Yes, I love the varsity jackets. Okay. 
Maybe I'll get my own at some point. Let's do this, and then we'll change the colors. Kind of make it a... Uh, let's make it a... Yeah. <laughs> the buttons would be kind of like a... That bronze. There we go. Now he literally just has Jacket's Jacket from... Um, from a Hotline Miami. <laughs> Alright, and then the pants can just be jeans if we can find them. Those are not jeans. Where the fuck are the jeans? Those are kind of jeans. Where's just jeans? Where's jeans? Where's Jean? Hey, Jean, where you at? Oh. Wait. I think there's multiple variants of this. Yeah, there is. Okay, perfect. There you go. And then the uh, shoes have to be um, purplish trainers. He always has to be wearing trainers. That's just how it is. And he wears a chicken mask. <laughs> when he goes out. It's so close to being the, the right color that it hurts. There you go. It's just a little bit more purplish. And there you go. Pretty much that's uh, Jacket's outfit. Um, except the jacket that people more recognize is more a brown cream color. And this is more cream, etc. But this is more like in-game jacket. Um, obviously the browner one would probably fit him better. We'll just do we'll do the cream brown one instead, just because that one's more recognizable. So it's like that with the bronze buttons, and then the sleeves are a more cream. So kind of like that. The game already pretty much knows. And then the other parts like this are cream as well. So just like the um the other parts. I probably should just straight up take this and then copy the color if I can. Favorited colors, and then come to this. Uh, favorites, use that. And there you go. This is Jacket's Jacket from Hotline Miami. Yippee. <laughs> Except there's a B as well, which I can't add as far as I can tell. I don't think there's a way for me to add um, the B, the classic yellow B. Oh, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. There was, then I would. But, um. Yeah, there you go. Uh, unless there's like a. I, I wish you could also choose the hats that you wear and stuff during your other stuff. Like, I guess you. You technically can choose the accessories you have every time. Um, Outline Miami was. Damn. Well. That's tough. Is he not wearing any... I don't think he's wearing... He's not wearing any socks, is he? Hold on. Why aren't you wearing any socks, boy? Whatever. Come on. Yeah, put on some socks, motherfucker. Wearing black socks. Yeah, you thought I didn't call it, uh, catch it. I did. And also, where's your where's your green gym? And then where's your glasses at too? Supposed to be wearing hipster glasses, idiot. Alright. And then uh, I want to give him gloves, too. Because it's cold outside. <sighs> there you go. Smell with no socks. <laughs> was, why did the ga game decide to not give them socks? Automatically, I wanted to give him a uh, ear, ear, uh, ear pierce or nose piercing, because those are kind of, um, kind of hot, kind of cute. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, but obviously that wasn't an option. Obviously doesn't need the glasses. And doesn't need the earring. I guess he just takes the earring off whenever he goes to bed. I give him socks. <laughs> no. Um... I wanted to give him these, but I thought that wouldn't make sense. Uh, what is this? This is athletic. That's all good and dandy. He's probably not wearing any fucking socks, is he? No. Put on socks, idiot. Alright, and then swimwear. He's gotta wear- he's gotta wear... ...all of his stuff. Except for... Obviously the earring. Go in. There you go. Uh, glasses can stay off. <sighs> These come on. Alright. And then sandals. Where's the sandals? You can't wear sandals when. Ah, oh, come on. Or, s or flip flops. Sashto! Sashdo. <clears throat> there. All right. We got our boy. I gotta look back at the basics again. We still have to name them. Um, Weasley, Wesley, Whitman. Let's name them Norman. I get from this? Lenny Walden, Kevin Barney. I like Kevin. He seems he looks like a Kevin. Kevin Chudson. Kevin Chudson. There you go. The Chuds. <laughs> Kevin Chuds. And then the personality. Yeah, how does this work? Born salesman. I don't believe that. How do you like delete these? I guess good. Oh, I see. All right. So current traits. Not ambitious, they're not ambitious. An animal lover, artistic. Very artistic. Pretty good writers and musicians, yep. That's, they seem like that kind of person. Um, athletic. No. Avant-garde, yep. Bot fan, brave, Free brooding. Arbufum. Why does he sound like <laughs> he sound <laughs> he sounds like hot diggity demon? <laughs> Brooding Sims can't help themselves from being contempting about the riddles, mysteries, and meaning of life. Sometimes the weight of these incredible deep thoughts can become distraction and can slow down the creative process slightly. 
charismatic. Zool, Commitment issues? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. These are so good because it's like... Eccentric. They love horses, and they're evil. <laughs> they're artistic, avant-garde, brooding, charismatic, and evil. <laughs> no. <laughs> Flirty. <laughs> <laughs> he bit his lip. <laughs> Frugal. Good sense of humor. A great kisser. <laughs> Perfect. What is this? Golden tongue, master charisma skill, and master guitar still skill. Kindly spoken word and softly strummed strings are the fastest. Master so golden tongue, golden fingers, master magician, street credible. Super popular and star news anchor. <laughs> um, for a street artist armed with a spray can, the world is their canvas. Can be sprayed. We need to be. Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'd want to do both of these street credible and. Guitarist, I guess. I guess I'll do guitarist. Favorite- Oh, here we go. Voice. This is how you do it. So their favorite foods would be... Um... What are half of the- I don't even- These are too, like, extravagant for me to understand. Stir fry? Favorite music is... Indie, obviously. Why wouldn't it be indie? <laughs> you know, indie. And favorite color, Irish green. That's so specific, sure. Yeah, my favorite color is specifically Irish green. Turquoise. Zonal Matzo, Dor. Oh, Bratzel. Tefl Glove. Epley Condoroy. Pobble Herbie. Tefl Glove. Pobble Herbie. Epley Condoroy. Deepa Haduda Crow. Letter Kirna Vita Sichi. Miyapso Simchi Chabo. Zondal Matzo, Tor. Chabo. Miyapso Simshiwani do. Chabo. Zondal Matzo, Tor. Miyapso Simshiwani do. Perfect. Astronomical sign. I don't know. Which one? Pisces. I guess it's Pisces. I don't know. Make them make them Pisces, I guess. I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. Okay. Alright, that's our character. So the character is Kevin Shuds. This is what they look like, their personality. They're artistic, avant-garde, brooding. Um, charismatic, good sense of humor, and they want to be a rock star. They like stir fry, indie music, and turquoise, and they're Pisces. <clears throat> what is this? Pre made Sims? No. Add, create Sim. We're going to create another Sim. The twins. Bobby! 
Nah, it's gonna be a dude. We locked up. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Alright, so this... <laughs> Uh, all right. He looks like Leon from Resident Evil 4. All right. Well, I know what I want to do with this character. If I can find it, I might be able to. Please. like Leon. Come on. Please. Please, 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 please. I don't know if they'll have it. They have normal beanies. That's good to know. No, I don't think they do. Fuck. 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 Let me see outfits. Fuck. Why the f why do they have the shoes though? They have these stupid shoes. These ones right here. They have these stupid shoes. Oh, they're not jester shoes. They're genie shoes. Whatever. I can't be a clown. I'm sorry. I guess I'll try my best to make them look like a clown. They don't have clown shoes. These are kind of like, or like jesters. I was gonna make them look like a jester. But I guess, uh, I mean, I can try doing that myself. Um, I need the right pants. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this one might work. It would have to be a modern age uh, jester. A more modern jester. Because there's no way to make him a jester otherwise. <laughs> it's perfect.
Hello. He this person looks like they would be part of Game of the Thrones. They look like they would be in the show. Oh, quite fine, good sir. I tell you what, good sir. Quite lovely day we have here, sir. Yes, we do, sir. I guess I could do one of these. I guess this will do. There. <laughs> British Jester. Oh, the gnome. The gnome hat. I'd have to look up clown mods to try to find, like, a clown mod or something. What is this? What does this say? Currently, this hairstyle is used for all outfits. Different hairstyles for different outfits. Oh, there you go. That's good to know. I probably should have known that, but whatever. Uh, that's fine. Honestly, that's, that's fine. And then, yeah, I just want... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to perfectly just <laughs> fucked up. Mardoon, sir. Like, fucked up like Chad. <laughs> like, actual, like, full on. Little mustache, there you go. Paint the mustache black. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I like this. This is their outfit. This is their everyday outfit. They don't need to wear socks. So, so. Their formal wear. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mardoon, sir. Why wrestling train wreck and a furry thin boy hippie? Yep, Where so. does his hat go? This is his formal version. What about sleepwear? Maybe yo. I tell you, you could take it off. Oh yeah, that's right. In this game, you can't do something like this. You can't just make your outfit every outfit. Can I just make it... Yeah, just make them...
They're such a, a funny character. They're so funny. Nah, uh, just make them not wear anything. Yep. Okay. And <laughs> they still keep the shoes on. Right. What is their yeah, athletic no. wear? I seriously not force them to wear their outfit from before. Sash down. Sash down. Okay. No. Forced to wear something else. Ugh. Okay. What's kind of like. What's kind of like wacky? I guess really none of these other than this war vet jacket. Boots are just clipping through it, of course. Did I tell you to take off the funny shoes? I did not tell you to take off the funny shoes. How dare you take off the funny... Oh! Well, I could make them just straight up wear... One of the, like, a full suit. <laughs> Could make them wear a racing car. Nah. Alright. This'll do. Alright, back to their everyday so wear. So Personality. Let's start with, um, their voice. Oh, brat. Let a girl not be to see you. Tap a glove. Every Chabo. Deep a Favorite food is hamburger. Hamburger. Dark wave. <laughs> Their favorite color is black. <laughs> They're just pure yellow and red. Alright, their traits. Um. Well. There are a lot of things. Mentally. Very, uh, they are very, uh, well, first of all, um, First of all, they're evil. Um, absent-minded. They are doing 
They're there going excellent academically at university. Might prove more challenging for absent-minded sims. Computer whiz. Eccentric. I make him, um, eccentric. Maruki! Ushka! Excitable. Um. A light sleeper loves to swim. Lucky. <laughs> Neat. Never nude. Slob unlucky. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should make them unlucky. Slob fits. Alright. A diva. Dramatic. Shanja. Uh, a loser. <laughs> no. I'm shy, woo. <laughs> yeah. I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. Alright, we might do snob. Kleptomaniac. <laughs> Rebellious. Alright. Become a master thief. Emperor of evil. They become the leader of the most diabolical organization in the world. Strong evil office relationships are a must. Possessing evil athletic ability to stop the interferences of noisy government spies. Evil vigilance is a must. <clears throat> yeah, it seems about right. Uh, and, uh, of course they're cancer. They, they are a cancer. There you go. We have differing we people. So oh, yeah, I should make them, um, that's another thing I should do. Make them tall. Let's see. Um... I think it's in this, and then I go to global. Here we go. Mardunsa. Weeb. Weeb. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to name them too. He's not related. Should we make them related or not? I don't think we should. I guess, uh, I don't know. Um, not related, okay. So his name is gonna be, um, you know what's, every evil person that is super evil would have a Z in their name. So his name is, is Zeb. Zeb. Agamine. <laughs> Zeb Goku. <laughs> Zeb Goku. Perfect. Alright, so we got Kevin Chuds and Zeb Goku. 
Let's go. I'm so chig. The chuds. Edit relationship. They are a boyfriend of? No. They aren't related. They just live together. The chuds. What is this like intimidating pose he's doing? Is there any way to fix it? Oh, is that derpa? Means dick. Zip or zeb? Because we could just name him Zip. Because that sounds funnier. I guess we'll just do zeb. Fuck it. So. All right, ch the chuds. Both. Oh. Alright, let's see here. What is this? You know, with a small, big character situated on water-rich real estate. Scented porch. Well, I wish I could... Let me look at it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh! oh god, I just sounded like a sorry. Okay. That's cute. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'd actually live I'd live here. Oh, that's cool. They have a little TV. In Arabic. Interesting. That's cool. All right, and then what's the upstairs? All right, we have a, a baby crib for us. And a section that you're never going to obtain or go to near. Because that's called layering. I do like how this is looks because I like, like, shitty houses. Oh, and it's, like, it's double layered, so it's, like, you have more headroom. Interesting. That's not bad. That's not a bad house. It's on the very edge of the entire place. The issue is everything about it, um, where you wouldn't be able to really... You wouldn't really be able to fix this, could you? Unless you terraformed everything. I don't remember if you can terraform these lakes, because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of room here. But, on the other hand, this place gives me that, like... A very comfy vibe that I really enjoy. Um, so, I don't know. That's a tough one. I think maybe I should just buy my own house, shouldn't I? And just build one myself. Although, this is a really hard one to go by because it's like... It's kind of how I wanted to do my house. I guess I could always just do my own. Uh, then we have some other places too. Can't build anything there because you're poor. Choose a place for us to live. Oh, also, how old should we make the Sims? I guess that's how long. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. What is this? They're kind of making us buy a house, aren't they? To start off with. So this is just a basic house with a driveway. Okay. Oh wait, I could just tell them right here. Next, choose a lot in town where you'd like to live in. Where's the plot options? Do I just have to click on them? I 
Where's the where's the option to just build a house? <laughs> Do I just not get I guess I have to destroy everything in the house before after I buy it would be the choice. That's 19 by 30. That's 30 by 39. That's 30 by 39. And it's un it would be unfurnished. I guess if I had the choice, it would have to be this one because I I'd have to be able to. I can't just straight up. I guess I'm purchasing this. Twenty. They're in college. Enter the name for your saved game. I forgot the guy's other last name. <clears throat> Goku. Shouting Goku. <laughs> Even though that's not like the official world because once they die, it's going to get replaced by something else in this world. I forgot about that. Because you can continue other Sims' lives in the same world. After you're done with them. <clears throat> I forgot that's a thing that happens. Hmm. <sighs> oh, shoot. The fuck? Oh, welcome to The Sims 3. This is your new town, just waiting for you to shape and change it. See that green bubble in the map tag? It represents your house. Congratulations on a solid property purchase. Notice the assortment of different maps um, representing a house, business, or community location. But where is your Sims? Just click the view. Sim button. Let's learn about tilting and zooming. The tilt, hold the mouse wheel and move the camera forward and back and then click the... Okay. Okay. Alright. You can zoom in and out. Okay. floor up and down so you can actually check the floor it's above it nothing here we go it's unfurnished house <laughs> nothing is moving right now Time is pop. Wait, where, where, where's the other character? <sighs> this is the first time using this mod in this town. Currently, the mod story progression is disabled. <laughs> yes. New span. Yes. Buy a couch. Oh god. So I think they just straight up deleted my my yeeted the other character for now because they're doing a tutorial and I guess they just picked one of the characters. <clears throat> Cause if you saw there's two of them. You know what this place needs? A new couch. Check out your sim. Uh, your sim has a wish. Wishes are now are how your sims tell you what they want. Mouse over it, the information and click the promise. You, so I can promise your sim that we'll buy them a couch. A wish means that you'll help your sim fulfill that at some point. Each sim can have up to four promised wishes at, at a time. Best way to see how to fulfill a wish is to mouse over it. And I can also right click on a wish to cancel. Okay. 
They're gonna give us money. So yeah, no, this is just straight up, uh... This is just straight up a tutorial right now. Okay. You can furnish your Sims home in buy mode by using household uh, funds to purchase stuff. Now, let's buy a couch to help out. Been given one time $500 bonus. Okay. Okay. Just purchase a couch. Um. Prim and proper. That doesn't look too bad. It's kind of like a, a Chad seat, you know? Let me read it. No, I wanted to look at these. Oh, okay, I see. So if you do that... Oh, I see. So you can pick the different styles. Well, I want it to be like a really shit, like, brown couch. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna do this. Um... Where do I want it to be, though? So there's a window there. There's windows there. Bathroom's right there. <clears throat> if I put it here... No. Hmm. It's kind of... Yeah, that's fine. Feels a little... Hold on. Maybe one more over. No, that's fine. Now, once uh, the couch is exactly where you want it, let's go back to the live mode and click the... There's not even, like, a light or lamp over here. <clears throat> Couch help you fulfill a wish and earn your sim a lifetime happiness. Get enough. Sit on the couch. Go sit on the couch. Okay. Go. Go sit on couch. If you're unsure what your sim is up to, look at the top left. You can cancel any actions by clicking on it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Little green icons popping up. These are moodlets. Represent an effect. Okay. I didn't want... A tutorial when I played this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Was there a way for me to turn off the tutorial? Because I really didn't want this. I really wish I, I kept this off. Um, this is your Sims overall mood. This is their mood. Looks like the rest of the household has arrived. Okay, never mind. We're good now, I guess. Options menu over here. Now would be a great time to save your game. There's lots more to learn in The Sims 3. If you need, you can access lessons from the options menu. Ha 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 I wanted to make my own house. This is dumb. Nope. Wait, what did I just excellent click? Consider hollowness of life. The wish system was a fucking mess. Uh, no. Okay. So, map view. How do I just go to build mode? Here we go, build mode. They didn't even teach you the main basic or concept of this game.
What the hell? Get rid of it. Get rid of all of it. Get rid of it. I don't even own those. Uh-oh, no house. Oh yeah, the roof, that's right. Hold on. Oh, the roof's gone now. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, um, hold on. I need you to go here right now. Go. Check out your smartphone. <clears throat> your phone has been upgraded and can now send texts. Use social networks, uh, texts, uh, and even has an improved camera. Okay. That's about it on The Sims. Let's see. What is this? The Weatherstone? <laughs> Why is it mentioning the Weatherstone? Alright. <clears throat> That's about it. Uh, you know... Um, you know the basics. We'll give you a chance to further... Shut the fuck up. No more... How do I just get rid of... How do I mute... Lessons? Enable lessons. Turn that off. Get out of my life, please. Alright. You already played two of them. Why do you need a tutorial? Exactly. Alright, so we need platforms, right? So this is the, uh, the out- This is the outside, okay. This is create a style. Hand tool. Oh, placement grid off? That would be nice. Or that's nice. I won't mess with that just yet. So go back. Let's see. So is there a way for me to do terrain paints? Here we go. Let's do painted grass. Dirt and sand. Light dirt. So this is the kind of like the entry, you know? Now we need dark dirt. There we go. Oh yeah, I should probably make the brush larger. Alright, so... We kind of have it go out like this, right? And then the idea is it's going to be a large just thing of, of dirt, you know, kind of like this. So it's going to basically be going all around the house, essentially. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> that looks bad. But just work with me here. Oh, this doesn't cost anything. Okay, good. There we go. That's way better. Mixed dirt. No, um... It was kind of... I was trying to go for, like, a... Like a... For, like, a... Like a, like a log cabin kind of, like... Dirt path... It's a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Whatever. It's bad. It was a bad idea. Whatever. It's not good. Just whatever. There. So now it's just kind of like somewhat dirty. 
And then I'll add a little bit of some other grass here. There. Now it doesn't even look like it, anything changed. You happy? I don't know. I just, I thought it looked cool, okay? Alright. Okay, well that didn't work. I wish there was a... Oh, there is. There's a undo button. That helps. Alright. We'll do the path afterwards, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna do it after the fact. I feel like pa pathing is like gonna be the last step. So we make the foundation using the foundation, <laughs> right? We do foundations by doing foundations. That's how it works, All right? Kind of like that, right? That's a little bit too close. I feel like. So I feel like we need to do it a little bit further. I'd say about here, maybe? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So I guess I just won't do that then. I'll just do platform. Wait. So if I do platform... If I do foundation... Then platform... Yeah, that wouldn't really work, would it? Okay, I kind of see what's going on here. Kind of. Alright, so I won't be doing a foundation. Because my idea was the foundation was going to help. But it, it doesn't. <laughs> just makes things more confusing. So I'll just use platform to start it off. So, so we're just going to do a basic starting platform. This is the... In, uh, the house. We have concrete. Wait, what? So wait, how many... Huh? Oh. Yeah, it's, that seems about right there. Um, I don't know if I can make steps. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to do steps. Into the home. Not exactly. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Wait, is it? Hold on. Every time I do this, am I losing money? No. Okay. We gotta start with humble beginnings. So if I move it up, then okay, whatever. So, deck, platform. Okay. Stairs. Dozy staircase. Oh, have to buy those. 
<clears throat> no. I think I want to do... <laughs> Is there a way for me to auto railings off? Is there a way for me to paint these? <laughs> 